Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In War of the Visions, let's compare the new EX Stern, level 120, uh, with the Super Stern, level 99. I feel like this is the uh, 800th video I've made about some version of Stern. Uh, but if you wanted to look at the individual skills for either character, uh, you can go back and look at uh, other videos of those. Uh, but here I'll just compare these two characters together, uh, look at the new skills from EX, Job, Stern. And then uh, the latter half of the video will be uh, kind of side-by-side -side, uh, test runs of each character, looking at how they can do damage against different type of uh, defenses. But my overall take is that uh, both characters are great, and uh, if you had neither, I think you'd get a lot of benefit from having one or the other. Uh, if you already had one, uh, you would need the other one much less than somebody that had neither. Uh, if you are a big ol' fan like I am, then go ahead and uh, make both if you like. Um, they have enough places where each is better than the other uh, that it would be worth having both, uh, but that would be a lot of work. And then uh, finally, they make good partners together, actually. Uh, you know, of course they can do the uh, dark slash chains, uh, especially if you give the exorcist cards to regular Stern. Then he'll get a 3-hit attack, uh, Super Stern has his 2-hit attack, so you'll have some nice uh, chains going there. Uh, but I guess we can look at stats first. Uh, first, upper left, we see that uh, Super Stern has more HP. And uh, it's not on this screen, but you also look at uh, attack resistances. Uh, Super Stern is much higher, uh, just overall. And then even if you take off uh, the self-sacrifice from regular Stern, he still doesn't have great resistances, so... Super Stern is going to survive overall just better in all situations, I think. So if survivability is an issue, uh, then I would go for a Super Stern. Uh, but we look at the attack, uh, it is much higher on uh, regular Stern, and then I have like uh, both of the attack uh, support abilities equipped on each character. Uh, but as we shall see with the other uh, damage that we uh, look at later, uh, there's not a great difference. Um, agility is pretty similar. Uh, but if we look at move and jump, uh, we see that uh, Stern definitely has the advantage there. And then he's equipped with uh, Shukuchi, that will give you move and jump plus one. Uh, that is an option that he gets from his ninja subjob. And he also has a jump plus one, which is an option from his dragoon subjob. So regular Stern is more mobile, so he does have that advantage uh, for him. If you're on a map which has a lot of kind of difficult terrain, uh, then regular Stern is definitely going to be able to get around better than Super Stern. Uh, but I think Super Stern, he makes up for it with greater range and greater area of effect uh, with his attacks. So he doesn't need to get as close as regular Stern. And then uh, both versions of Stern, they have different uh, breaks. Uh, but where Super Stern has like attack and defense breaks, uh, regular Stern has a slash resistance break. And then thinking about uh, Slayers, uh, Super Stern, he has Light Slayer on a couple of his attacks. Uh, regular Stern does not have any Slayers, uh, but instead he has a variety of attack types. Uh, Drain Force from Soldier, Anton from Ninja, and then uh, Jumps from uh, Dragoon. So any sub-job that you give him, uh, he'll have a variety of attack types available to him to get around different defenses. And then uh, Super Stern, in his Master Ability, if I remember, he has a Defense Penetration. Uh, regular Stern, now with EX Jobs, he also gets access to a Defense Penetration, uh, but that's from a Self Buff, so that won't be on all the time. Uh, but yeah, just to add uh, one point to um, a good benefit of using them together, since they can break different things, uh, Attack or Defense or Slash Resistance, uh, then they can kind of complement each other well there. I've said this in a recent video, but I feel like Super Stern is easier to use than uh, regular Stern. And I think that has to do with the greater range with the attacks, and then also the better survivability. Uh, regular Stern can still do great damage, and it's a lot of fun to use him as this uh, EX job uh, level 120 character. Uh, but he's a little bit trickier to use, and then you have to think a little bit more uh, about which sub job to give him. Uh, so you can have access to different uh, sub-jobs, and then use them against different types of characters. Uh, but then going back to Super Stern, especially with his good uh, slash resistance, uh, he's much more doable uh, in a slash resistance build, or a slash resistance team. 
Um, so if you wanted to go hunting for particular characters in Arena or something, uh, that could be an option for you there as well. Okay, but here, let's talk about some uh, specific skills uh, from regular Stern. Uh, here, in the EX Jobs Hazard Break, uh, you can upgrade that to Hazard Destroy. Uh, that will raise the damage from Great to Super Great. And then uh, it keeps the same uh, AP cost, uses per battle, and then range and AoE. So yeah, that's still one of the best attacks in the game, I feel. And then uh, the uh, TP skill, the self-buff, uh, Hazard Form, will become Hazard Spirit. That'll take away a bit of his HP and then give him attack up like before, uh, but then also give him defense penetration. Uh, that's where he can pick up that. And then the all-new skill is uh, Calamity Hazard. Uh, this is a medium-range uh, attack, uh, single-panel target. Uh, it will reduce slash resistance. Uh, that's the same as Gilgamesh. Uh, at max, it can lower up to 38%. That's pretty good. And then it will do uh, medium damage. And this is one of his most damaging attacks, depending on the, uh, the character that you are attacking. Okay, and then uh, we'll go against uh, two parties. Uh, well, they'll have the same members, uh, Zazan and Engelbert. Uh, but I'm going to build Engelbert in uh, two different ways. Uh, this is the high defense build. Okay, but first let's go in with uh, Super Stern. And then I'm going to build him in this way. I'm going to use the exact same equipment and vision card and espers for both characters in all fights. Okay, but bells. And then the attack and accuracy self buff. Uh, Engelbert will use the uh, the courage, the mortal spirit self buff. Okay, super stern with a regular attack on Zazan. Hazard Crash, that will break the defense. Okay, Sentinel on Engelbert. Double Attack, that has the Light Slayer. Alright, there goes Engelbert. And that's just with the regular Ruin Knight uh, sub-job. I'm not going to show off Samurai or Assassin here. Okay, next fight, let's do a regular Stern. Uh, this will be with the Soldier sub-job against the, uh, the defense build Engelbert. Okay, him too, Bells. Okay, Mortal Spirit there. And Paralyze Edge, a bit of a range attack. Okay, Hazard Destroy, that's the upgraded Hazard Break. Blade Bash. Drain Force. Get that HP back. <laughs> and then hard slash. Regular attack. And regular attack. Alright, there goes Engelbert. Okay, next, let's give uh, Stern the ninja sub job. And then we're gonna turn off uh, Shuriken. Uh, he will tend to use Shuriken uh, because it has greater range, but I wanna turn that off and hopefully try to get him to use uh, Anton more. Uh, that's that ninja ranged attack with the uh, non-attack type, uh, but still with the elemental damage. And that's a good choice to pick, uh, especially if you're using the uh, Diablos vision card. Okay, Calamity Hazard, that will do the uh, slash resistance break. Not great slash resistance on this build of Engelbert, but it must have done the more damage, so that's why he used it. Okay, let's do the second build for Engelbert. This will be a slash resistance build. Uh, 88%, that's pretty crazy. And then with the, uh, the vision card, uh, maxed light ability. That will also give Engelbert 25% more HP, so he has over 6,000 here. <laughs> Okay, Bells again here, and then Attack and Accuracy self-buff, and Courage. Right, regular Attack. Okay, Hazard Crash, that will break the defense. Sentinel again. 
Catastrophe, that has the Light Slayer. Mighty Break, Attack Break, plus good damage. Mighty Break again, and take down Engelbert. So yeah, neither Stern is having difficulty doing damage to Engelbert in either situation. Okay, here let's look at Stern with the uh, Soldier subjob. Alright, Bells. Courage. I really like uh, Zazan's voice actor. <laughs> okay, Paralyze Edge there again. Again with the Paralyze. Hazard Destroy. Drain Force again, that's interesting. Paralyze Edge, get the Paralysis in there. And Counter Slash. Okay, last fight. Again, Stern, but this time with the Ninja subjob again. Okay, Bells. Courage. Alright, Anton. Anton again. That's maybe the biggest damage that we're seeing in the first attack on Engelbert of any run here. And that was what I was expecting, because, again, Engelbert has a very high slash resistance, but Anton will just go right through it. And then since this Engelbert is not built with as much defense, uh, he's only got about 40 instead of like 70-something, uh, then the Anton is just going to cut through a lot of that stuff. Uh, and I'm not going to show the, uh, the Dragoon build with EX Stern. Uh, that would require maybe a completely different build with more Pierce attack and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, that was a uh, quick comparison between a Super Stern and Regular Stern. Uh, again, I think either way you could get a lot of good use out of them. Uh, Super Stern is easier to use, but is maybe the bigger investment. Uh, regular Stern a little bit more difficult to use, but more accessible to uh, more people. And then has more options uh, with different attack types. I don't know about the, uh, the format of this uh, kind of comparison review, but hopefully that was interesting. Hopefully that was uh, helpful. Alright, I think that'll do it for this video. Uh, I would be interested to hear your thoughts on Stern. Uh, if you want to go for one or both or neither, and then uh, why. Alright, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.